Researchers at Penn State are raising the alarm and warning that high rates of COVID-19 in wild animals could potentially lead to new variants of the virus. WFMC's Joe Ducey has more on how it's impacting wildlife here in Pennsylvania and what scientists are doing to track it. From house cats to zoo animals, it's no secret COVID-19 could spread not only amongst humans, but also our four-legged friends. There were early indications that uh, white-tailed deer could be susceptible. Now research shows deer in at least 13 states, including Pennsylvania, New York, and Ohio, have tested positive for COVID antibodies. Scientists say it's likely deer don't exhibit symptoms, but could transmit the virus. In one study, researchers at Penn State found a nearly 33% rate of COVID antibodies in deer in Iowa. They pass on the virus to other deer very easily. So it is likely that most of the deer are getting infected from another deer. The virus can't be transmitted through properly cooked game meat, but could potentially be spread if come in contact with while processing the meat. So you should take proper precautions. While risk is low of transmission from deer to humans, such a high rate of infection amongst wild animals could be cause for concern. When the virus circulates in a wild animal species such as deer, it provides the virus opportunities to continue to circulate and that could result in the development or emergence of novel variants. Virologists at Penn State say the spread of COVID among wild animal populations poses a unique and significant threat, and it's developed into a main area of focus in their research. When you think about free-living animals like deer, uh, we can't really control how these animals are interacting. If we do not uh, pay attention and, and monitor the circulation of the virus in the deer or other wild animals, could pose a potential problem of uh, re-emergence of a, a different variant. Joe Ducey, 69 News.